Here in this code sample we define a function that assumes two arguments to be passed over to it when it is being invoked. Then we assign that function to the property on arrow of the window object we work with. The meaning of that is that any arrow that happens within the scope of the window object will result in indirectly in a simple invocation of the handling arrow and two arguments will be passed over. The first is um, the error message and the second is where the error took place. Then we define the function do something that calls another function that actually doesn't exist, which means that when we try to invoke do something we actually cause an error because gogo doesn't exist. Do something is a global function and a global function is actually a property within the global object. In most web browsers the window object is the global object and therefore the result of calling do something is an error within the scope of window. Therefore if we try to open it with a web browser we shall get a message that its text is actually the text we placed over here. We could place another text so it could be um, maybe more understandable. Bongo, let's refresh and here is the text. So now you understand that the text we see on screen is the outcome of execution of this function. Let's bring it back to its previous version.